Everett, and welcome to Frank's Files. It is the most wonderful time of the year here in New York City for many reasons, but for me, it's because we have our upcoming sale of Magnificent Jewels in New York on December 4th. And what a sale this is. So let's dive in. We've got four collections, not one, not two, but four wonderful collections of private jewels to show. First of all, the collection of Barbara Sinatra. She was the fourth wife of Frank Sinatra. They had a long and happy marriage, more than 22 years, and her jewels are fantastic. I love this Bulgari coin necklace with the full pave diamond chain, kind of a rare piece, but I think my favorite from Barbara Sinatra's jewels are these bracelets. Van Cleef and Arpels, the mystery set ruby bracelet, and a diamond one to match, the most flexible pieces of jewelry ever made, and so dazzling. That says holiday to me. Next, we move on to another great American lady, the jewels of Happy Rockefeller. She was married to Nelson Rockefeller, governor of New York, as well as vice president of the United States. She had fantastic jewelry, great taste, and one of the most wonderful quotes I've ever heard about anyone was by the designer Norman Norell. She wore a lot of his clothes, and he said she will always look right, and it's really reflected in her jewelry. She had great pieces for day and night, great gold things for day, Van Cleef and Arpels platinum and diamond pieces for evening, but the thing that I like the best about Happy Rockefeller's collection is this bracelet. Beautiful, glowing, emerald and sapphire beads. Just a simple bracelet, but such an important jewel because these are exceptional quality stones, and I think that is just a really understated chic thing to wear. The next jewels I wanna show you are from another important American private collection. This woman has fantastic taste. First, I have to go right to this rare Cartier brooch, the panther brooch with the sapphire. The story is that she saw this brooch in an ad and just called up Cartier and had to have it. So that's pretty special when something can be sold like that sight unseen. She had a wonderful collection of Schlumberger jewels from Tiffany & Company, my favorite being this necklace. This is the Plumes necklace, made by Jean Schlumberger. The first one was from 1962 for Tiffany & Company, inspired by all sorts of flora and fauna. This design was inspired by feathers, obviously, plumes. Incorporates wonderful rubies, sapphires, diamonds, and gold, and it's one to me one of the most special designs Schlumberger ever made for Tiffany. This is a fine example and would look great at any holiday party. I love this necklace. The fourth and final collection that we're featuring this season has to be led by our cover lot, the spectacular Van Cleef & Arpels diamond necklace. There couldn't be anything more red carpet ready. And this lady has true red carpet style and a real eye as well. She loves Van Cleef & Arpels, has a great relationship with the house, as seen in this necklace, but also this wonderful ruby suite, which has so many pieces, I can't even count how many rubies there are. We have a ring, earrings, bracelet, a necklace, and a brooch. The necklace can be broken up into more bracelets. It can be worn long, it can be worn short. This piece can be worn as a pendant or it can be worn as a brooch. So Van Cleef & Arpels is known for making convertible jewelry and their clients love them for it. So while most of the sale is made up of these magnificent collections, I can't let you get away without looking at a few incredible gemstones. Here I have five fabulous rings. We're gonna start with a 51.52 carat cushion, more than 16 carat cashmere sapphire, 25 plus carats D flawless emerald cut ring, another cushion more than 10 carats D VVS, but my favorite ring from this collection has to be the top lot in our sale. This is an extremely rare, fancy vivid blue diamond, 10.62 carats, the most beautifully shaped pair, gorgeous outline. I'm just in love with this stone, and you cannot underestimate the rarity of this material and a diamond this special. The estimate reflects it, it's 20 to $30 million. So this is really just a small taste of what we have to offer. Our exhibition opens on November 30th, the sale is December 4th, and I look forward to seeing you then. Thank you.